Well, everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Crusader Kings 2. This is our kingdom. Our fledgling empire, even though we're nowhere near the size of, or the realm size of an empire. I think, what is it you need? You need... Found a new empire. You need... A realm size of at least 180. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we're only just over halfway from that. So, I mean... We got quite a ways to go before we could even remotely think of founding our own empire. Though we have plenty of cash, I think we have enough money to... Yeah, we have enough money to do it. We just need the... Oh, we need the prestige. Yeah, the prestige, that's never gonna happen. But we have the realm size, at the very least. Uh, well, actually, we could do it, because we do hold three kingdom titles. Well, fair enough. If we just had the prestige, we could found our own empire. But, no, that's never gonna happen. I need... I need 8,000 prestige. That's just not going to happen at the size we're at. We need to go to war, like, constantly and defeat opponents like the Holy Roman Empire. That's just not going to happen. Anyway, last time we conquered this bit of Spain, which is basically the Kingdom of Galicia. Uh, or at least what it is. This is the real Kingdom of Galicia. These four counties is actually the part of the Kingdom of Portugal. But because it's not been a created title, we could create it. Uh, but because it's not an already created title, uh, these four pieces are actually being incorporated into Galicia, and they will be part of Galicia de facto by uh, the next 98 years. Plenty of time, but this over here, this portion of the land, is also supposed to be a part of Portugal. In fact, these two counties still are, but... Uh, unfortunately, these four counties have already been incorporated into the kingdom of uh, Badajoz, or the Sultanate, I should say, which it's not supposed to be, or originally, these, this is supposed to be part of Galicia, or not Galicia, Portugal, but because it's been so long, it's been uncontested, they, it just got incorporated, so we can't, we can't lay de jure claims. However, what we could do eventually is we could actually go to war with the king over here, or the Sultan, a holy war for Beha, which would then actually, if we win it, we would get these four counties uh, immediately, which would be helpful. And most likely, I would try to reincorporate them into Portugal at some point. That's something for a later time, though. Right now, we have a big problem in that we need to figure out what to do with you. You hate me, and you will never like me, and I could potentially kill you. 189.5% plot power. That is actually a very decent amount if I can get that and hold it for long enough. I could kill her and then I can get uh, this guy to become the Duke. And he... He doesn't like me either, but at the very least, it's possible he could like me. The short rain bonus will go away and then we'll get long rain bonuses eventually. He's a title claimant, which is not good. But... He's not ambitious, and she is. She is just going to create so much trouble, it's not even funny. I mean, what I could also try to do is, can I... Wait. You. Betrothed to you, can I get... Are you... You're just a courtier. Yeah, I was about to say, you would never, never agree to that. I mean, I could eventually try to get you to marry my grandson? But that would just be really strange. Uh, my other my other thought would be to get you to marry somebody of my dynasty. So that you would have kids. And then eventually, uh, those kids being of my dynasty will like me a lot more. And then I won't have to really worry about the succession so much. But I mean, as it stands right now also. Because... Uh, over here in Galicia, the succession law is gavel kind. The heir to the kingdom of Galicia is actually going to be my son and not my heir. Is going to be Prince Drost instead of um, instead of this guy, which is kind of annoying. And ah, uh, I didn't get a chance to name him. That's annoying. Yeah, whatever. But, unfortunately, Drost is the one who is going to inherit Galicia 
at this rate unless I do something. And what I could do is I could change the... What the hell's Tanistry? Wait, what? Uh, oh, no, that's... Whoops, that's Ire. I'm looking for... I'm looking for Galicia. I could change it to Primogeniture. And then, in which case, my firstborn will inherit the kingdom and it will stay within my control. Now, the only way I can do this is I need to have reigned for at least 10 years, which that's going to be no problem. Unless I drop dead. <laughs> Crossing my fingers, that doesn't happen. But what I need to do after that is I need to increase the crown authority to high. And that will never happen if this person is still in charge. Meaning I need to do something about her now. I can't wait till she dies. I can't wait till she has kids. I gotta do something. I mean, what I can do is... When can I pull you out? September 9th. What I can do is I can plot to have you killed while also trying to fabricate a claim on one of your counties. If I can do that and I can pull a county out of your control and I can give it to someone else, like I could take Santiago and I can give it to... not you. I can give it to someone else. I don't like the fact that you've got two counties over here anyway that just make no sense. That's just my OCD speaking, but... I could, you know, I'm going to go for Santiago. Um, I'm trying to think, who do you... Oh, the Knights Templar have this castle. Why? Who? The Prince of Poland. But you're the Grandmaster of the Knights. Oh, wow. Uh, <laughs> could I offer vassalization? Small difference, right? Yeah, no, that's never going to happen. That would be... If I could va vassalizing the Knights Templar, that would be nuts. But no, that's not going to happen. What what land do the Knights Templar have? They have they have bits and bobs everywhere, really. Do they have anything over here in the Holy Land? No. It looks to me like they just got some bits of the... They've got some places in the Holy Roman Empire. A couple of baronies, mostly. Hmm. Well, anyway, that doesn't matter. So this, this barony is going to just belong to the knights unless something happens. That's fine. Whatever. I've got two churches and a city and a uh, a castle already. So what I need to do is I'm just going to wait till September to start the process. I need to start the process of um, claiming... Oof, wow, what the hell? I'm getting some weird frame droppage here and some lag. Uh, I need to I need to wait till the 9th of September. And then I can have you fabricate a claim. Instead of where you are, fabricate a claim here in Santiago. So now, hopefully... Who are you? You, my daughter-in-law is... Oh... Oh! Oh, that's really not good. Because you're a part of the Holy Roman Empire, aren't... Oh, no, you're part of Hungary. But still, that's that's still not good. So, you know, I, it's, it's still not good. It's, it's not as bad as I thought. If he's part of the Holy Roman Empire, then Galicia could flip if I died without changing any of this stuff. Galicia could flip to the Holy Roman Empire, which would suck. But I need to I need to just hold on for a claim and well actually now that I think about it I should probably start trying to plot to kill you now because when you get older oh crap you're already older yeah the the plot power went down a bit all right but I'm I'm still going to attempt to attempt to do this who likes you not. A lot of people. Well, crap, this is never going to work. I'm going to have to bribe these people. That's 17. It's 27. I'm only at 27 more percent. Because these people... Immoral, your opinion of her... Mm, that's never going to work. I might just have to wait until... 
Uh, oh. Wait, what? Do you not... Oh, you... You gave away a county. Well, damn it. That's not good for me. I need to... Crap. <sighs> uh, retract vassalage. I could... I could retract the vassalage. She would never agree. It's a breach of my feudal contract. But, uh... Opinion of me by minus 30... Except upset my vassals by... Well, she's going to hate me, so that's not a problem. But it'll upset my vassals by minus 10. She would never do it because she's rebellious. And she does have quite a bit of power here. I mean, I retract Santiago, and then this county gets taken out of uh, the duchy. Which would be what I want. But if I were to just actually ultimately take just the duchy of uh, Portugal away from her I would become the Duke and then these two people would become my vassals as well as her being just a countess of these two places so you know what? maybe that's what I'll do and I'm really annoyed I just placed that guy down without checking to see if the um, if the county got flipped over to someone else uh, my daughter is of legal age though so let's find you a husband hmm I could marry you off to the King of Hungary or the King of Lotharingia, but I'm never going to be able to get a matrilineal marriage that way. I mean, that would net me some great alliances. Hmm. He's a Prince of Bavaria. I mean, what are we... Ooh, no, I just want to... Uh, I just want to check... Oh, that's you. Ooh. How are you? You're ambitious. I couldn't plot to kill you even if I tried. But maybe. Maybe a matrilineal marriage with the King of Bavaria isn't a bad idea. Kingdom of Bavaria, how big are you? You are... Well, you're supposed to be that big normally, but you are instead... You have little bits and bobs over all over the place. Damn it. I This is getting really, really difficult. King of Hungary, which would never go amiss, but I already have... Oh, no, I don't have an alliance with the King of Hungary. Uh, ooh, wait. Gotta send a message. Okay. Sorry about that. Uh, let's marry you off. Oh no, I couldn't marry you to the first, uh, the second-born son anyway. So no, that wouldn't really, wouldn't really. Oh no, I could. But you're all the way. Why are you all the way down there? You're much further up the line of succession. My daughter is humble, content, patient, shy, zealous. I mean, Lotharingia is a part of... Yeah, I'm tired of marrying people off into the Holy Roman Empire. Is that Navarra? That is Navarra, but it's about to be taken over. Uh, let's, you know, I'm going to marry you to the King of Hungary. Screw the Cadet Branch. We're just going to go for the Alliance here. I thought Bishop Fingen to be a more reasonable man. His request to be allowed to duel his rival was slightly erratic. Ah, oh, you want a duel, do you? Well, I don't know who your rival is. Who is your rival? My steward. Please don't kill my steward. That would really screw me over, because he's a fantastic steward, and oh, I never placed him anywhere. My son, Fedlack. You are... How old are you? You... You're young, and you're way down the line of... You're my third-born son. You know what? You being content suits your position very well. My courtier is prisoned over here? 
Who is he imprisoned by? You're a you're a peasant leader. It's ransom prisoner, my vassal of Tirkanael. Gold is good. Opinion of me. Well, there's no reason for me to do that. Uh, didn't I? Oh, you came of age. <laughs> I'm like, didn't I betroth you to somebody? No, you you came of age. My son-in-law, the king of Hungary. That is going to be a very nice alliance. Though, to be fair, he's kind of far away. Mm, maybe I should have thought about that first. Oh, well. Eh, nothing I can do about that now. How are we doing there? It's coming down slowly. But it's still coming down. Alright, I've just got to sit and wait for a bit. And you know what? Take you out and try to... Well, you know what? If I could get a claim on the whole duchy, that would be fantastic. Because then I wouldn't... Um, I would not incur any sort of penalty whatsoever with my other vassals for revoking it from her. And that you can get a claim on an entire duchy if your chancellor is good enough. If he's considered a masterful diplomat, you could get a chance to actually get a claim on an entire duchy rather than just a county. Which is awesome. Totally can't complain about that. Alright, that- Ooh! Ugh, but I don't have a claim on the Isle of Man. My kinsman, you actually still have a claim on the claim on this plot of land. You know, I will consider going to war over that. Um, yeah, I thought you would have lost it. I guess you. I guess your father passed it down to you. Yeah, I guess. I guess your father did pass it down to you. Will you like me more? Yes, you will. Fantastic! Money makes the world go round, everybody. <laughs> uh, oh, my domain size went up. That's nice. I can hold another county. I would like to hold a bit of friggin' uh, Galicia if I can, but... I mean, odds are that might not happen. Uh, my daughter doesn't eat anything for fear of turning fat. Okay, temperance. That's good. My vassal, the Earl of Ulaid, is the leader of a plot. What are you trying to... Malin de Ulaid. Isn't that your... Who is that? That's someone you're related to. Isn't it? Who are you trying to kill? Known plots. Oh, there's a few of them. Uh, you're in hiding. Oh, because you're trying to be killed by the Earl of Gwent. I need to stop that right now. Uh, and you're trying to kill... A kid. Is he an heir for anybody? No. Flan the Unfaithful. Oh. You're a vassal, but why are you trying to kill him? I mean, I could imprison you. And you know, I might start thinking of actually giving some duchies to some people over here in Ireland. That, um... That doesn't sound like a bad idea either. Because some of these people are getting hard to deal with. I mean, you will just end your plot. I mean, it's so insignificant. But I mean, 75 gold would be nice. Where's Ulaid? Isn't Ulaid this? Yeah. And I mean, I would like to... Who's the one that likes me? You like me a lot. And you have a son. I mean, unfortunately, once again... Yeah, oh, but you got a matrilineal marriage. So, there's no problem there. You were murdered on... Oh, you son of a... You... <laughs> God damn it! There's so much political intrigue going on in Ireland right now. This is nuts. Okay. Let's think about this. Um, I'm actually... What I'm going to do... I will imprison you. Where, where's the imprison button? I can't imprison you. 
Oh, you're in hiding. That's why. All right, never mind. I'm just going to have to end your plot as is. Um, and I'm also going to have to end this goddamn plot. End it now. There will be no killing of my vassals. You too, buddy. Most of these other plots, I don't really care if you keep going at it. Good. Those are done. You're just some random dude. This is this is an Iberia. A backer. What's the plot power of this? 19... 98! This one could actually happen. I'll let the rest of those go. These people are going to be in prison for life. I have one threat. Sancha. Who... Has 47% of my... Ugh. God damn. That, do I still have military raised? I feel like this is still going up. Why is this still going up? Nobody's been raised. Barracks, barracks, been, been built. Um, okay, you know what? I am actually going to create the Duchy of Ulster. I think it's high time I do this. Uh, it'll be 152 gold, but it'll give me 200 prestige. There's the Duchy. And you know what? I'm going to give it to you. Just so I can clear up some more vassal limit space. The Duchy of Ulaid. Boom. You are now a Duke, my good sir. Duke Brangan. Cool. Okay, so that takes care of that. And I have now lowered my vassal limit by, th by three? Yes, by three. Because these three people are now um, vassals to him, which should actually... Oh, no, it did, it did lower my ultimate um, power, though. Oh, no, it, it, it came back. It bounced back. I actually now have more power because this dude loves me. He's going to be able to actually pull a lot of troops. Like, how many troops would he give me? 2,444. Yeah. That's, that's some powerful stuff. I could create quite a few duchies, actually, and get a lot of prestige by doing that. I don't know. Maybe an empire isn't that hard to consider if I can create this many titles. Because I know I can create a lot of titles. Um, I can get rid of that. I know that's going to happen. Uh, as well as that. I'm going to keep that up, though, so I can keep track of that. All right. Well, next time on Let's Play Crusader Kings 2, we'll, we'll hopefully get something to go on here in Galicia. Because I really need something to happen. Push has got to come to shove, and we need we need some work done. This is the Musical Gamer signing off. See you guys next video.